Hey everyone, welcome to Fitbusters. Today we're talking about a really popular myth, the myth of the perfect human diet, that a single diet could work well for everybody. And we're here with Jake from Earthling Organics. He's gonna shed some light on this. So you now I'm gonna get started right away. So what do you think of when you hear the perfect human diet? Well, I'm not into labels really. I mean, I think people should learn to listen to their bodies and uh, tune in with what fuel and food serves them best for the moment. Some people do well with fats, others on carbs, but with most people it can change slightly or significantly over time. That's why it's so important to really tune into your body and pay attention to your biochemical individuality. Oh, um, complex word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it's important that you bring that up because every person's different and you even said it that it's not just about what you need now, but that changes over time. And if you're, if you're stuck with a label, then you're stuck eating that way when your body could necessarily change and need something more. That's really actually appreciating the dynamic nature of the human body, and I like that a lot. And, but that also brings me to, you know, you walk into supermarkets or sporting goods or, you know, sports and nutrition stores and you see single ingredient foods or like foods, foods in general being branded and marketed as superfoods, the most potent, the highest antioxidant rates. And if there's no single human diet that works for everyone, is there a single food that's the most amazing or beneficial for everyone? I believe in diversity. I mean, anytime you use the word single or perfect or any superlative when it comes to food, it's missing the point. I mean, the true strength and power of food is found in diversity and the wider variety of foods you eat, both with food groups and within the food groups, the stronger, healthier, and more resilient you'll be. I think that's a really reasonable approach and one that we forget. We get caught up in the marketing and caught up in the, the sensationalist, sensationalism of media. And so that's like a worthwhile, honest perspective that people need to hear, so thank you. So. Okay, so there's no perfect diet, there's no perfect food. Are there any universal truths that you prescribe? Is there something that we can rest upon? Like, yep, this is definitely true for everybody, for all food philosophies. High quality, high integrity. I mean, one of the only truths when it comes to food is that it's real food, and that trumps all nutritional philosophies. Eating whole, organic, or unprocessed foods as close to their natural state as possible um, is what the body is designed for. I couldn't agree more. And I'm glad that you came on to shed some light on that because I'm sure people are like, oh, this is what I heard as a child, but I forgot when I get caught up in all these other, you know, smoke and mirrors of marketing and branding. So I really appreciate that perspective. So not surprisingly though, eat real food. It's what you're biologically designed to eat. It's what evolved with us. It's in our environment. We're not meant to process the, un the synthetic pesticides and all these things that are being added into our food system. So thank you, Jake from Earthling Organics for stopping by and busting this myth for us. So no perfect diet, eat diversity, strength is in diversity. Thanks guys, see you next time. And be kind and gentle to the earth. Love it.